Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you guys haven't been here before, my name is Natalie and you can call me Natty. Or if you've been here before, it's really nice to see you guys back. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my one semester recap of Nurse Practitioner School Online. So for people that don't know, I am in Nurse Practitioner School to become a family nurse practitioner. My school is completely online and I'm responsible for finding my own preceptors. And then we just go to campus a couple of times to show different skills and things like that. So this was my first semester in school. So I just kind of wanted to recap and kind of explain how it is to go to school online because it's very different from nursing school because I was in a traditional setting. So just kind of wanted to go ahead and talk about that. So first of all, with the school being online, to me it was so much better because um, I'm the type of person that when I was in nursing school and we had lectures, I really didn't get much information from the lecture like in terms of interpreting it and keeping it in my brain. I was more at lecture in order to write notes and get all the notes down, what everyone said, you know, guest speakers, whatever it was. So to me to kind of skip that part and not have to get ready for school, get up super early, drive to school, you know, take the bus to get there, whatever it was, to me it saved so much time to be able to go to school, you know, from my bedroom to the living room and just hop online and all the lectures were already on there. In my school in particular, um, all the, like the lectures and all the prompts or whatever it was, was already on the schedule. So it's not like I had to wait for it to be live or anything like that. So it was very helpful for me because I was able to create the schedule that I wanted and incorporate other things in life that I really did not have the time for before. So to me, going to school online was awesome. Now, with that being said, if you do wanna to go to school online, you really have to be self-disciplined because no one's like telling you, you need to do this, you need to do this, or remember to do this because it's all in the syllabus, it's all online, and you're responsible for all of that. So if you think you might have difficulty with being self-determined like that, maybe going into a regular traditional classroom might be more for you. But for me, I thought it was wonderful. So for me, the way that my school was set up, that there is different sessions. So each session was a consistent of a week of work for each class. So it was really nice to go to each class, like online, look at the session for the week. What did I have to do? What did I have to read? Were there any quizzes, any tests, papers, whatever it was, everything was laid out there for you, which I love because I just love knowing that, okay, this stuff I can just quickly get done, get it out of the way so I can focus on what's important, which is studying for the exams. Because there are a lot of things here and there, maybe like a paper or like a little prompt that you have to do or a discussion board or whatever it is that although they're very helpful, it's nice to kind of get them out of the way and not have to think about it because the last thing you wanna do is say, oh, it's not that big of a deal, I'll push it later. And then you're just kind of like, oh my God, I totally forgot. And I usually, the way I set it up, uh, Mondays I would try to do any like quizzes that we would have or any discussion words that we'd have so I know that I did my posting that it was out of the way so that the whole rest of the week I can dedicate to either studying or writing a paper or anything that was kind of more in-depth so honestly going to school online is so much better the only thing that's kind of kind of sucks is just like there's no kind of social interaction I mean you interact with a discussion board but it's nothing I'm you know, more than an in-person interaction. So I'm definitely very excited for clinical and working with the preceptor so that I can actually get involved with patients and that'll be a whole bigger deal. So as far as this semester, I took advanced um, pathophysiology, I took genetics, I took a research class and I took a health policy class. So it was definitely a wake up call that first of all, even though it was great to be online, it was definitely a turn of events of having to get used to everything online. You know, I'm responsible for everything. No one's gonna remind me of anything, that type of thing. And then the classes were pretty good. You know, I think it's really important for you to figure out what are gonna be your more difficult classes and what classes are going to be a little bit more smooth for you so that you know really what time, uh, how much time you need to dedicate per class. So as far as the advanced pathophysiology class, it is a lot of information. It is a lot. But you know, it's actually very interesting and the particular book that we used was very well written and it was really easy to understand. So the one thing that I noticed from when I took pathophysiology in nursing school versus taking the advanced patho now is when I was in nursing school, they're very more into lectures and PowerPoints and stuff. 
But here, what I noticed is that they do have PowerPoints too, but it's more up to you to read the readings and the text and whatever lecture that comes along with it. What I did in the beginning, I really wasn't sure how to study for this class. I'm like, should I use the PowerPoint? Should I use the lectures? Like, what should I do? So if you're kind of in that little you know, hurdle, what I did was, and it was super helpful, was I had the textbook right in front of me and I read the chapter, whatever it was. So then I made my notes and I highlighted and all that. Then what I did is I listened to the lecture and usually they kind of go in the order of the chapter that they're working on in the book. So what I did is whatever they were talking about, I would go to that page in the book and write extra notes that weren't kind of directly on the text or little hints here and there. And that really helped me study because I know that when I go back to look at the test, oh, and also if you take notes before you're listening to the lecture, write your notes when you're listening to the lecture in a different color so that you know um, what was something that you took on your own versus what someone told you through lecture. That way, when you go back and study for the exam, you can know what, pi what points were highlighted more, and that way you kind of indirectly know where to focus on studying. And for our um, class, they gave us like a list of detailed objectives. So it's very important to look over that. Usually that's kind of geared more how what type of questions are going to ask you on the test and stuff. So that was for that class. Um, for genetics, um, that class always gives me a little bit of difficulty because especially with like the pedigrees and stuff like that, it's kind of um, difficult for me, especially with like autosomal dominant, uh, recessive, X-linked, you know, it's a lot, but if you really go online and look a lot of videos, they very, like, they explain it really well and it finally starts to click and there are so many diseases that are caused by, like, chromosomal disorders or genetic mutations or so many, there's so much detail, but just pay attention to what the teacher is emphasizing. Now, we were very lucky that our instructor was very nice and gave us very detailed study guides and said, really, I want you to pay attention to here, which you will really appreciate because sometimes it's just like, oh, just study everything. And you're like, I really can't study every single thing, but it's really nice and really take advantage if you have a professor, teacher, whatever, that says, hey, focus here a little bit more or really know this, like pay attention because we're doing the same stuff in nursing school. They say, when you know, when they say the same thing three times, you really need to know it. So with genetics to me, it was difficult. I think for some people, it is difficult because there's just so much going on but the class wasn't bad um, and I did enjoy it actually and I think a lot of it has to do with um, me finding more interest in it and having a really great teacher to go along with that now for those were my I guess you could say harder classes but I did very well in both of them so I can't complain but they were very interesting and I'm glad that I took it and I can't wait to actually apply it to real patients Okay, so as far as um, health policy and research, I luckily had taken a research class in nursing school really close to me taking it now again. So I remembered a lot of the concepts, but that was a really cool class because we kind of interacted with like the other students a lot because we had to do little projects here and there or write PICO questions or set up like what was an independent variable versus dependent variable and that type of stuff. So I like that class in terms of getting to interact with the students a little bit more. Um, but it's not that I find the class super entertaining or whatever, but it's definitely something that um, is, it's not so bad. It's kind of maybe one of those classes that you pay attention to, but it's not like you focus your mind in like you would for uh, uh, pathophysiology or genetics or anything like that. So to me, that was a really nice class. It was kind of like more of a breeze. Again, we had like discussion boards, so I would make sure to get those done early. And um, as far as that, that was pretty good. And then the last class with health health policy. And that was a really interesting class too because I don't really recall them teaching much of that during nursing school. Maybe like here and there sprinkled, but not, you know, obviously a class dedicated for it. So it was really interesting to learn all of the different policies and stuff. And how they set it up was that they made us do um, like different PowerPoint presentations or different discussion boards where again, we were interacting with uh, our students um, well, not our students, but like the students there. And um, we were able to communicate and learn different things like health policies in different countries versus ours. So it was very interesting and it was more, I don't wanna say it was like busy work, but it was not so much like 
we didn't have any exams in that class and we didn't have any exams in the um, research class. So it was more of like kind of the projects and interacting and being involved and learning this and that, which I found great because obviously in genetics and pathophysiology, you do have classes. So it was good to have that like balance. So I really appreciated that. And I thought it was a great semester. It was definitely a nice change. I really enjoy it. I think it's awesome. I think if some people are scared to be totally online or don't think it's legit or something, it is. Just make sure your school is accredited, whatever you want to apply to. The school is definitely accredited. Um, it's really great. Again, you need to have a lot of time management skills. You need to be self-determined. It's something that you really need to want because nobody's going to push you down to do it like they will in nursing school. So just keep that in mind. It was really great for a semester. I'm really looking forward to next se uh, next semester. We have, um, what is it called? Health assessment, which will prepare us for clinical. So it's starting to get there. So I'm really excited to actually start applying and asking questions and this and that. So it's gonna be really, really cool. And I hope it gave you some information if you're thinking about becoming a family nurse practitioner It's or online. It's really cool. Um, I learned a lot. I feel like I'm getting more confident in knowing my stuff. And it was just a really great semester. So I'm definitely going to give an update on my second semester, which will be done in May. Luckily we have like 13 weeks per um, semester. So it's really quick, but at least it's done, get it out, you get your information, you go and you continue on, which is really cool. So I hope that that gave you some information if you're looking into getting into FMP school. It was great, I recommend it. I definitely think it is something worth doing, especially if you have more of a crazy schedule to do it online is really great. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Please remember to subscribe. My Instagram's down there. And remember to always, always believe in yourself. If you're thinking about getting into FNP school or wanting to do it, go for it. I think it's gonna be awesome. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Remember to always believe in yourself. It's gonna be great. All right, bye guys.